Hi, so I'm looking for a possible trade here. I might be entering right now. I want this. So let me tell you what I'm trying to do. Um, the overall trend played out with a break in a new high. And then this short-term trend played out with a break in a new high. And now we're getting a failed second entry below the EMA at a place that you would think a reversal would happen, which is a breakout of the overnight highs and after all the uptrends have played out. So I want this bar here to trigger and then I want to enter one tick below this bar. So this is going to be my entry price after it triggers, if it triggers. All right, come on, get filled. Order filled. All righty. Let me just make sure this is exactly one to one. All right. So I'm going for two and a half points, two and a half point stop as well. So that's one to one risk to reward. Um, the reason I'm going short is because this uptrend has played out with a break and a new high, and then this short-term uptrend has also played out with a break and a new high, and it's a breakout of the overnights where you can expect reversals, and it's a reversal pattern, so a first entry long, second entry long, failure. So that's my train of thought here. Point in. All right, it's looking better now. Okay, there we go. Target filled, 10 ticks. It's two and a half points. Let me just mark this. That's supposed to be green. There we go. Two and a half points. Let me just pull that. Alrighty. So, I hope you all enjoyed the live trade. Now we're just going to start the regular video. Um, Alright. So, I put my overnight lows here, overnight highs here. I saw this downtrend, and so I started around this area right after this downtrend broke. And here we have a first entry short, second entry short, failure. So it's a reversal pattern. Um, I think I, I was just barely not trading when that happened. Uh, it's not a perfect looking one anyway, although it does look alright. Um, usually I, I would kind of want it to see it close lower. I mean it's not a huge deal, but it looks alright. Um, then we get this higher low right here. At this point it is kind of getting congestive. There's a, really, there's a lot of bars you'd have to push through at that point, so I, I wouldn't take that, but either way it looks like you can I don't know if you'd get one to one out of that if you did take it though. Um, looks like you would. Um, but either way, so a couple legs up, then we have a correction to the EMA, then we have two legs down. You don't really want to take that because it's just a first entry and there's, there's, it's really just not a setup right there. So we have two legs down, and then we get this move up, move higher. You can't really take it because it's not off of anything. And so we push back up, two legs up, then we have a two-legged correction, it pushes through the EMA, 
So at this point, it's kind of getting sideways, getting choppy. It's harder to trade. Um, we have another leg down. Can't go long into that. There's no short setup either. Um, and then this is right here, this trade. If you did take this, this is just very congestive. It, it, also, it just doesn't look that good because here you do have a failed second entry, but it already has these two legs down. You know what I mean? So it just doesn't seem like it's a good trade considering the two legs down already. It's kind of just like entering at the end of the move. But then we finally have this big push down, break, and two legs to a new low. Now this trade here, it had this short-term trend line going through it, which kind of made me a little nervous about it. But considering the context, it's the third bounce off a major key entry point, the lows of the day. The downturn has played out, and it's honestly just really looks, it's at a good area to take a trade. I didn't like how it was blocking with this short-term trend line. A lot of times I can't, I'll ignore the short-term trend line if it's on a strong trend as well, and right off the key entry point with another good setup as well. But also considering how small it was, I thought it was worth taking. So seven ticks. Then here, um, of course I didn't have this at the time when I took this trade. Now it looks kind of congestive, but so it's a failed second entry. It looks kind of congestive, but when I took it, it was only like that. So it wasn't really congestive at the time. Um, but I didn't cancel it even after a couple of bars formed right next to it. So here we have the first entry short, second entry short, failure. Um, you know, it kind of does have these highs right here. But if you look at it as like a failed breakout kind of, then that kind of gives you more reason to take it again. But I thought it was pretty good. Failed second entry, reversal pattern right after coming off the lows of the day. I think it looks all right. And uh, so then we have this short term trend up. We get a correction. I'm looking for a long here, but there's really nothing. Um, everything's inside this downtrend. You don't really get it. You don't at all get a good signal bar. And there's really no way that you can enter in that. Um, and then I drew this. And then here we have a break. First attempt higher, second attempt, but then it just goes into a range. And then this leads me to my third trade here. So we're in this range, price broke out. Most breakouts fail. Now, at this point, we are also making a breakout pullback off the overnight highs, and then it holds, and you get a first entry short, second entry short, failure. So see how it takes lower there and there. So first entry short, second entry short, failure above the EMA. I thought it was pretty good considering we were still fading this range, which I can extend it. I was thinking maybe it's not extended, maybe it's there because of this little breakout pullback, but that's really not very much, so I was still kind of thinking of it as a fade. But even if it wasn't a fade, it's still a failed second entry short right after a breakout pullback off the overnight highs, but rushing back above the EMA, so I think it's good. Um, so yeah, then. We make the one-to-one, -one, it goes about a couple points higher, so there was some nice, you know, I like to see it go a little further than my target so I don't feel like I just barely got out. So I, I, I'll show you the, so I got like an extra point, point and a half maybe. So that's, that feels nice. And so we rush back below, we bounce off the overnight high again. Um, I'm not wanting to take this breakout pullback considering this other breakout pullback didn't last very long, so we could just fade and how it rushed below the EMA like it wasn't even there. And so first entry long, second entry long, that's a lot better trade because it's the second entry and it's outside of the short term trend. I still wasn't willing to take it though because like I said, I, I, I wasn't sure if the breakout pullback would really work considering it didn't really work there. So. I just wasn't comfortable taking it. So then we rush up in this uptrend. We have a break, leg to a new high. We get congestive, and then we break out. And then we, we just get congestive again. And then this leads us to here. Downtrend, break, first attempt lower, second attempt lower is what I entered on. Failed second entry long, first entry long, second entry long, failure. And then notice how it just ticked higher than that. It's kind of a bullish bar right there. It 
ticked higher and then just trapped everyone out. So I think that looks really nice, to be honest. So see, I like that trade. Then let's see how much extra we got. So I entered one tick below that bar and then yeah, a lot of nice extra room. One, two, three, four, a bunch of extra ticks, basically. So, you know, then, then we just get a second entry short right there. Um, let me draw. So, yeah, I don't really think there's going to be an entry right here soon. I mean, maybe, but. But, yeah, so that was what just, that's just what I saw today. Hope you all enjoyed that live trade. Um, I know a lot of y'all want me to uh, show more live trades, so the reason I don't record during the main trading session is just because it kind of, it does in fact make me nervous, you know, it's it's not the same uh, trading when recording and when you're not recording, it's, so basically what I think about it is if I'm about to start recording and then I happen to see a setup, I'll just, you know, if I'm about to start recording anyway, I'll, I'll record it, but for the main few hours, it's like I just want to trade without really worrying about, you know, because it, it feels like there's eyes on you, you know, when you're recording it. So, so I like to show them every now and then, but I can't really show them all the time. But um, I'll definitely try to show them as often as I can. So, anyway, hope you all learned something. Hope you all enjoyed that. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.